Does your family look a lot like mine? What if something as microscopic as an amoeba could change your entire world as you know it? I'm Jeremy Lewis and my son is Kyle Grayson Lewis. He's the reason that we're here today. Along with my wife Julie and my daughter Peyton, we want to thank you for taking a few minutes to listen to our story. On August 29th of 2010, our family suffered the tremendous loss of our son, brother, grandson, and friend. Kyle Grayson was a beautiful, healthy seven-year-old boy who loved swimming, baseball, camping, and riding his dirt bike. And after a week full of swimming, fishing, camping, a wonderful family time, our world stopped when Kyle went to be with our Lord. Kyle's family and friends are now dedicated to make others aware of this risk. The Kyle Lewis Amoeba Awareness Foundation was established with the goal of informing families of the potential danger of Nigleria phalari, which exists in most fresh water. I'm Brandi Vincent, lead on the Education Committee for the Kyle Lewis Amoeba Awareness Foundation, also known as Kyle Cares. Nigleria is a free-living parasite that is climate sensitive and thermophilic in nature. It thrives in high temperatures. Nigleria is a brain-eating amoeba that lives naturally in fresh waters including lakes, rivers, ponds, even ditch water and hot springs. It has also been found in underchlorinated splash pads and in public water systems. Deaths have occurred from nasal rinsing with neti pots without distilled or previously boiled water. This amoeba thrives, multiplies, and feeds on bacteria, and it poses a life-threatening risk when the water temperature is warm, near 80 degrees and higher. When water temperatures drop below 80, Nigleria could still be active and therefore still be a risk. It's dangerous if water containing the amoeba enters the body through the nose, which can occur during water activities such as swimming, diving, jumping, skiing, wakeboarding, being submerged, splashing around vigorously, and nasal rinsing. Nigleria migrates to the brain and causes the fatal brain infection, primary amoebic meningoencephalitis. Initial symptoms mimic meningitis or the flu and they show 1 to 14 days after contact, but then life is typically lost just 3 to 5 days after symptoms show. So you can see timing is critical. Kyle had three days of second grade played a scrimmage baseball game on a Wednesday night, and woke up Thursday with a headache and fever. That evening, Julie took him to the ER, and he was admitted and given a spinal tap. They believed he had some sort of meningitis. Just 72 hours from the time he woke with the headache, Kyle lost brain activity. A few hours later, the lab noticed the amoeba in his spinal fluid. Please hear me. Nigleria does not survive in properly chlorinated pools or salt water, and it is not harmful if it's swallowed. Infections typically occur between June and September, and initial symptoms mimic meningitis with headache, fever, vomiting, and then it progresses to confusion, loss of balance, seizures, sight sensitivity, hallucinations, and coma. Nigleria has been found in shallow and in deep waters, not just on stagnant shoreline. Let's talk prevention. Nigleria, the brain-eating parasite, is an unseen deadly danger that can be avoided. There currently is no guaranteed cure and it is 99% fatal, 100% preventable. For 100% prevention, Avoid water activities in fresh water when the water is warm and do not allow any fresh water to enter your nose. To help reduce the risk, keep your head above and out of any warm water or use a nose plug or a swim mask. In nasal rinses or neti pots, use distilled, sterile, or pre previously boiled water. To aid in our mission of spreading the awareness, Kyle Cares has nose plugs, literature, and other awareness items that you can order from kylecares.com. Nigleria phalari is 99% fatal but 100% preventable. This 100% is possible by staying out of fresh water when the water temperature is near 80 degrees or warmer and not letting fresh water enter your nose. Remember, nose plugs are not a guarantee to keep this amoeba out of your nose. They are just a way to help reduce the risk. So please, swim safe and spread the amoeba awareness. Kyle cares and so do I.
Ohio Ohio cares, and so do we. Kyle cares about Amoeba awareness, and so do the Matthews. We're the Draggers from South Carolina. Kyle cares for Amoeba awareness, and so do we. We're Steve and Shelley Smelsky, and our entire family supports. Kyle cares for Amoeba awareness. Kyle cares, and so do we.